Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So we all know the Incredible Hulk, of course, a very, very potent NPC and can definitely take on some much bigger threats. But what if we turned him red? So not only does he make you spontaneously combust, but he's also able to absorb energy like plasma, explosions, and all that sort. This is the Red Hulk, also known as Rolk. And Rolk is General Ross of the US Air Force turned into a Hulk himself. And I've always wanted to see Red Hulk in the cinematic universe. They have the character in there. Just make it happen, Marvel. Comparing the two though, you can see he has 30,000 health versus 25,000 health. And that begs the question, is he stronger than the Incredible Hulk? So in this video, we're going to find out just that. Which one of these two is the strongest and what kind of strange properties does the Red Hulk have? If anyone suggested this, you'll be down below, guys. Thank you so much for suggesting. Thank all of you for being awesome and staying to watch this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's take a closer look at the Red Hulk. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So, I know a lot of you did suggest this, and yes, I know I'm behind on the troll stuff, but I wanted to take a bit of a breather from that for just a moment because there's other NPCs out there and the Red Hulk is definitely one of them. So we can see he does just kind of look like a standard Hulk if we spawn this one. You can see the Hulk is a bit more relaxed, kind of, you know, chill. This one is ready to tussle. And you can see like the blistering veins are even more prominent and he just looks like he wants to just rip you apart. This is also accompanied by the fact that he has glowing orange eyes that are filled with absolute rage. All right, enough talking. Let's let him loose and see exactly what he does. Uh. <clears throat> Hulk? Or Rolk? Okay. I don't know what the hell just happened, but he just jumped out into infinity. Where is he? Rolk? Oh! <laughs> Rolk, what are you doing up there? You're in the skybox. Maybe this map might be a little too, um, a little too small. You can see he leaves a fire trail behind, which sets us ablaze if we were to touch it. You'll notice that Rolk isn't pissed off at us, and that's probably a good thing. But what if we spawn some combine units to piss him off? Well, you can see they just kind of get set on fire. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, Rolk, you good? Guys, make sure you pick a really good map for this, because, uh, Rolk needs a lot of room. Alright, let's see if we can hurry up and get him to attack, because he is just, he's, he's a trailblazer. Oh! <laughs> and that's what happens when you spawn NPCs. Let's hurry up and spawn more before he runs out of fuel. Here we go. There's some NPCs to play with. Oh, jeez, and play with you will. They, oh! <laughs> <laughs> he kicked his face into oblivion. All right, guys, so Rolk really likes to jump around. I don't even know where he went. Is he in the skybox again? All right, guys, so what if we were to piss Rolk off? In order to do this, we're going to need some pretty strong weapons, like the Ark customizable weapons. And we're now going to let him loose, shoot at him so he gets pissed off at us before he runs all the way across the map. Seriously, th this is Hulk if he was on a diet. Dude's trying to burn so much calories. Hulk, what are you doing in the astral plane? You have to get back to the map, man. Hey guys, what's up? Sorry, I had to change map. That map was a no-go. I need a map with a much higher skybox limit, so this one looks like it'll definitely do because, um, Rolk likes to jump a lot. There you go, Rolk. Now you have a nice big open field to run around in or to walk in place. Guys, maybe I have something wrong with my Gary's mod. <laughs> NPCs have been acting kind of strange lately. All right, well, he definitely moves pretty well when it comes to killing Combine. He'll even leave a few taunts here and there, just like the original Hulk does. I can definitely tell you guys that this Hulk is way more aggressive and also his regenerating factor is pretty insane. My only issue is I cannot get him to be mad at me. No matter how many energy balls- Oh yeah, he absorbs energy. Don't do that, guys. <laughs> Explosions too? Oh no, it does do damage. Just not a whole lot. What about admin guns? He can actually survive a shot with an admin gun. 
Look how quick his health is healing. That might be one of the strongest healing factors I've seen in a very long time. Oh, you know what? Look at this. His defense keeps getting... What? He completely healed. His defense, it gets stronger the lower he gets. So you'll see we're doing a lot, but... It... It... <laughs> He's unkillable. This is the admin gun. His healing factor gets stronger the weaker he gets. There's nothing we can do about it. Okay, no more playing around. It's time for this sexy gun. Sexiness gun, part one. All right, gonna chill. It's not that crazy. I think we've seen a few NPCs survive this. As you can see, explosions don't do diddly squat. But let's stop playing around, guys. This is how you really take care of an NPC. All right, guys, but in all seriousness, what an impressive NPC. I don't think anything's going to kill this guy. But it doesn't really matter if you can't die if you can't deal out the damage yourself. So we're going to have to really take a look at that. So now we come to the most exciting part of this whole video, in my opinion, and that is which Hulk is the strongest the regular which can transform into world breaker mind you or the red hulk let's see by letting them just beat the hell out of each other for a minute or two <laughs> and off we go this is going to be one hell of a match <laughs> We have a predicament, guys. Uh, Red Hulk just jumped through and phased through the building. Apparently, he's Silver Surfer now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Rolk, come back! He jumped to infinity, but he's coming back down, thankfully. Alright guys, so they're constantly getting stuck, but to give you guys an idea of what's going on here, you can see Rolk is taking a bit of damage, but Hulk is taking tremendous damage. He's gonna have to transform if he wants any hope of winning. And there you guys have it. You can see that Rolk definitely had a good advantage and he had so much health over him. But the second that Hulk transformed, he literally ascended to another dimension in terms of raw power. One smack is all it took and World Breaker Hulk completely destroyed him. So what if we made them fight each other right off the bat? Would anything change? As you guys can see, no, it doesn't. Worldbreaker Hulk is just in another league. Rolk doesn't have any hope of defeating him, but he still put up one hell of a fight. That's honestly the problem with Rolk, is even though he is so, so strong, with so much health regen, the issue is he just doesn't have a lot of maximum health, and that's going to be his downfall. NPCs like Ares, where they can just do 500,000 health in one hit, they're just going to one-shot this guy. And it's not going to matter how much resistance or regeneration he has. But you can see we do have the ability to possess him. His jump looks really, really cool. Really harkens back to the days of the Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. Guys, one of my favorite games on the PlayStation 2. You can sprint, and as you can see when you do, you do leave that fire trail behind, which will hurt any NPC that is unfortunate enough to go within your path. Left click is a nice jab and guys that fight was epic these animations look really good i like how it wasn't just a copy paste of the regular hulk he does have his own moves that kick right there just like you literally stick your toes into their goddamn throat r is like a little smash combo which does tremendous damage and he could just cover so much ground with his jump I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't know if he has like a ground pound or something. Doesn't look like it. So what do you guys say we try to fight the Titan? Maybe we have a good chance against him. Oh, 
Oh, that hurts. But I'm not afraid, because once again, we have the regenerating factor, and I know he has one too, but it's not nearly as good as ours. The issue with the Rolk as well is that he tends to get knocked away very easily. And the problem with that is it just kind of... It, it's hard to land a hit on some of these NPCs. So you guys can see, we actually haven't really been doing anything to him. <laughs> so that, I think, is an issue. Maybe if we were just having the regular NPC, he would have a better chance. But he also isn't doing much to us, even though we're half health. He's not going to really be able to do anything besides that. So overall, you guys can see, the Titan did lose a little bit of health, but... The only issue I have with the Red Hulk is he just does not do enough damage. In terms of survivability, he has one of the best. Like, he is right up there with the Hulk, if not even better. The only thing that's just unfortunate is that lack of damage. Like, for instance, guys, the, the Colossal Titan, he'll never be able to kill the Red Hulk. I'm just going to say that right now. But at the same time, the Red Hulk's not ever really going to be able to kill the Titan. So overall, guys, I think that the Red Hulk is a very good addition to the Hulk family line. And I'd love to see more Marvel NPCs by the King of Lizards. He just really kicks it out of the park. If you guys like this video though, let me know by leaving a like down below and subscribe to see more videos just like this. You guys have been killing it with the support lately and I am so, so very grateful for all you guys out there. And I hope you guys are excited for anything new to the channel, especially all you newcomers. Don't worry, I know a lot of you did stuff for the Trollge videos. More of those are coming soon because there's plenty of NPCs to look at. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And until then, thanks for watching and farewell. As always guys, the last video I did will be on the left, a random video will be on the right, all my socials are down below. Thanks for watching guys, and until next time.